Hello, I'm going to try to do all, you know, an hour and a half or two hours of my presentation in the next 15 minutes, so I'm going to practice my auctioneer. No, not really. Okay, there we go. Basic stuff, Ohm's Law, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. We've all gone through this a lot of times, but I'm going to revisit the thinking occasionally. Um, all the, uh, you know, I equals V over R stuff. Resistance is additive in series circuits. We often forget this. Current is additive in parallel circuits. Two things we seem to forget. Um, matter and energy flow from high pressure to low. This is all basic stuff. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, especially since I don't have a lot of time. Um, all right, scientific method. Scientific method consists of collecting data and using observation and experimentation and formulating and testing hypotheses. I like to use this because sometimes we forget this. I call it analytical thinking. Don't be subjective, be objective. All right, Occam's razor basically says the fewer assumptions that an explanation of a phenomena depends on, the better it is. Keep it simple, stupid. In diagnostic terms, I like this little phrase, if you hear hoofbeats, think horses, not zebras, unless you're in Kenya. <laughs> so if you think you've tested everything and you haven't got a clue, stop. You're just beating your head against the wall. Stop, turn your brain around, do something else, whatever it takes, go have lunch, and then start again. Look at your plan. You did, you're not getting it. It's not that you're dumb. It's not that you haven't thought of something. Maybe you haven't thought of something. Maybe it's just that you're not looking at it the right way. Yeah. Remember the basics. Always go back to the basics. If you get stumped, go back to the basics. Develop a plan. Follow it through. Go after the common faults first. If you hear hoofbeats, unless you're in Kenya, think horses, not zebras. All right, make direct measurements. This is my own little prejudice. A lot of people like to do scan tool data or whatever, but I don't trust scan tools. How many times have we heard scan tools lie? You might get substituted values. You might get um, you know, something that is the result of an indirect measurement from some other sensor or some inter interpretation that got fed through from another module, all of that kind of stuff, traps. But if you're making a direct measurement, unless your equipment's screwed up, you know, your scope is bad or your exhaust analyzer is bad or your vacuum gauge is bad, unless one of those is true, as long as your measuring equipment is accurate, you really know what you've got. You're not second guessing the equipment as well as the car, as well as the customer, as well as the, you know, whatever else is in your life. Um, if you don't get good results, make a new plan. Divide the problem to speed the diagnosis. If you get stuck, look back. Look at what you did. See what you, what you got right or wrong. Quit for a little while. Or get help. 